Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about getting input from a user. Now, one of the great things about programs is that we can allow users to interact with them. And in this tutorial, I want to show you guys the basics of letting a user give your program some information. Now in JavaScript, there's a lot of different ways that we can give our programs information. We could use things like text boxes or buttons. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the most basic way that you can do it in JavaScript, and that's by using something called a prompt. So we're going to prompt the user for input, and then we'll use that input in order to do certain things in our program. So down here, I want to come and I want to create a variable, and I'm going to call this variable name. And I'm actually going to set this variable equal to a special value, and we're going to set it equal to window dot prompt. And basically what this is doing is this is going to prompt the user to give us specific information. And whatever information that the user gives us is going to get stored inside of this name variable. And inside of these parentheses, I can actually type a message for the user. So in here I could say, what is your name? So we'll basically have a prompt box that prompts the user to give us their name. And you'll see over here when I refresh the page, this text box pops up right here and it says, what is your name? And so over here I could type in my name, Mike, and I could click OK. And eventually what we want to happen is we want to be able to access whatever the user types in. And when I set up my program this way, in other words, when I create this variable called name and I set it equal to window.prompt, whatever the user types in when they click OK will get stored inside of this name variable. So I could come down here and I could type document.write and inside of these parentheses, I just want to type out some information. So I can say, hey, and over here we're going to add in that name variable. And then I'm going to type some more text. I'm going to say, how are you today? And what this is going to do is it's basically going to take the name that they enter in. It's going to say, hey, whatever the name is, how are you today? So I'll refresh the page and it says, what is your name? I'll say, Mike. And now on the screen, it should print out, hey, Mike, how are you today? So I'm able to get information from the user using that JavaScript prompt. I can store it inside of a variable and then I can access that variable in other places on my website. For example, here we're accessing this name variable and we're printing it out onto the screen. So you can do this as many times as you want. So I could actually have another prompt here and why don't we just copy this guy and we'll paste it down here and we'll make another prompt called age. So we'll say, how old are you? And we're storing this age inside of this age variable. So down here in this document.write, I can say, hey, name, how are you today? Do you like being, and then we'll add in that age variable, and we can say years old. So now when I refresh my page, instead of just getting that one prompt for the name, we're actually going to get two separate prompts. So I can refresh the page. It says, what is your name? My name's Mike and I'll click enter, and now it says, how old are you? And we could just say whatever, so I'm 23. And now it'll print this whole thing out. It says, hey Mike, how are you today? Do you like being 23 years old? And if I refresh this program, it'll give me another set of prompts. So now I could make up some different information. Let's say my name's Steve and I'm like 80 years old. Now it'll modify this program, so it'll say, hey Steve, how are you today? Do you like being 80 years old? So we're able to get information from the user and we're able to use that information inside of our program. So this is just the basics and you know this is the easiest way that you can get information from someone inside of JavaScript. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.